So aromatherapy massage for the face and scalp. I prefer to actually put the oil on my hands first because it's quite off-putting if someone saturates your face and your scalp with too much oil. So place it on your hands, start off on the shoulders and the chest and that's where most of the oil is going to go so that you'll still have residue that you can place on the face and it'll have the effect that you need it to but it won't be overly greasy because you've got to bear in mind that your client may be going somewhere after the treatment or they may be using the bus or the train home so you really don't want to have them absolutely covered in oil. So to start off this massage, work your way down from the temples and then just a little bit of pressure on the clavicle area and then move along to the shoulders and again just push down a little bit of pressure and then you can move along and just push down on the shoulders and what that helps to do is release any tension that you carry in that area and as you're doing this you may see erythema which means that you're boosting the circulation and you're bringing the blood to the surface so on the face you can do very gentle thumb movements, just little strokes just in between the eyebrows and then nice gentle pressures working your way out to the temples and you can work in rows and in between each row just do a few strokes in between the eyebrows very relaxing so what you would do here is work your way in about three or four strips over the entire forehead then you can do the same but work your way from the eyebrows up to the hairline and again you would cover the full area you can also do pressures to help increase lymphatic drainage if anyone gets any sinus congestion the oils that you choose can benefit but also some pressure point massage can help to reiterate that and really help to move things along so work from the sides of the nose to the temples gentle pressures and then slide along and that will help to release any congestion you can also do the same just on the jawline finger pressures working from the middle of the chin just to the edge of the jaw under the ears and then slide you can also do finger circles around the eyes you can either do two at the same time or you can support the face at one side while one hand works you can do very gentle pinching of the eyebrows and you can also do gentle stroking where you take your time from the centre of the forehead and you just very gently work to one side and then you would work all the way back to the other side you can also stroke the entire face and what you're helping to do is cover the area with your aromatherapy oils to get your effects but it's also very relaxing and very toning for the muscles when you're finished you can do a prayer movement over the face and then you can do finger pressures with a gentle pressure at the temples and just push in slightly and then some very nice light ear massage also feels really good and helps to relax And you can also hold your hands over the ears and it traps in a little bit of heat and it feels really nice and relaxing. We can also do very gentle finger frictions and finger circles on the scalp. And what to do is just take your time. And remember it's only the tiny amount of residue on your fingers that's got the oil on. That's all you need. You don't have to soak the hair in oil. So you can move your fingers about but make sure that the pressures are quite static and it's the scalp that you're moving and you're not just moving about in the hair you want to make it really effective and 
you can also move down and do the same moves just at the very base of the neck, feel for the occipital bone. You can also very gently turn the head to the side and that will expose this area here that you can do your finger circles on. And then very gently move the head and repeat on the other side. Again, just take your time and make sure you cover the full area. When you're finished, move the head back to centre. And then one final prayer movement to finish. Little finger circles and a gentle pressure in at the temples and release. And then once your client's finished, you can set them up, get them a glass of water and give them the correct aftercare and home care advice.